Hey, what's up? It's your boy Jay the Comedian, and this is part two of the crazy ass dating story. <clears throat> yeah. So, okay. So, where we left off at last time, the, this girl that I was dating dumped me for another guy. The guy was a, a, he was a great Jehovah Witness. He was kind of a nerd, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not the, he didn't have the most swag in the world, but you get it, right? He's a good Jehovah Witness. Of course, he don't have swag. So, she broke up with him the day at the assembly. That the day we were laughing at her and him, <laughs> she broke up. Now I feel bad about it because I know what I was doing when I was laughing at him. You know what I mean? When I was like being over the top, just ha <laughs> ha ha, you with that. You laugh me for him. <laughs> like, I know what I was doing. Because when you're a Jehovah Witness, you really care what other people think about you. You know what I mean? Like, it's really important. It's one of the tactics that the governor body used to keep their members in line. What others think about them is really, really important to them, you know? So, yes, I knew what we were doing, and we were 1,000% wrong for it. Me especially because I was kind of leading the charge and laughing at them, right? So, so they break up or whatever, right? And... The thing is that the reason she dumped me in the first place was because I wasn't good association. Like, I wasn't a good guy at all. I was very bad. I lived a double life. She knew it. She didn't tell on me, but she knew what I was about. And to get back with me, she'd have to live this life of debauchery I've been enjoying for a long time. <laughs> and uh, she was willing to do that to get with me. This shows how desperate some sisters were to be in a relationship. I'm like, you know I'm not good, right? You know this. And I was even kind of mad because I'm like, remember, you did break up with me. I'm a little bit pissed off about that. I'm very confident and cocky when it comes to being in a relationship. How dare you break up with me? <laughs> but yeah, so this is how this is how we got back together first off in chicago we had a lot of skating parties right that's what everybody did we go to south side everybody go to these skating parties and whatnot and when i was at this skating party i saw her she saw me i was fly as ever you know because that's you know that's the one time you don't gotta wear suits you get to wear all your street clothes and i was a you know all suited and booted i had me a little job so i ain't have to pay rent because i was living with my parents i was great you know what i'm saying and um and she saw me talking to a bunch of different girls that night, and she eventually was just like, you know, I made a mistake. I want to get back with you. We're out the bam. I played it off a little bit, but I eventually got back with her. And it, and it's just crazy because when I got back with her, she was instantly like a new person. And it was funny because I remember like talking to her, and she would tell tell me that you know because she was a good witness. She didn't like hanging out with the other good witnesses. <laughs> She like, you know, I always felt like they was watching me and judging me and I always felt like I had to keep up this facade. Like I had to look a certain way, speak a certain way, act a certain way all the time. But when I'm with you and your crew, I could be myself. I could let my hair down. I could wild out. So I was missing that. And she wanted to be part of the squad again. But she know my squad was hella debauched. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know if that's the right word. But we lived the life of debauchery. I'll tell you that, though. <laughs> and uh, and she wanted to get back with me. Now, so I got back with her or whatever, right? And we're dating again. And like I say, it's night and day versus the first time we dated to this time we dated, you know? I mean, she was instantly like, hey, I'm ready to get this fellowship for you. I'll do whatever you want to. I'm like. Jesus Christ, this may turn into the best relationship I've ever been in. <laughs> and she was, um, she was, she was on it. She, she, she was like, yeah, let's do this. Like, she was like, ready to go. I couldn't believe it personally. But I was happy that she was so vigorous. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so we dated. And all the time we were dating, her ex-boyfriend... <laughs> was in her ear every single chance he got. Like, yo, you know, I heard he cheating on you. I heard he did this, that, and the third. And yes, I could have just whooped his ass and made it, you know, easy for myself. But I didn't want to, you know? Because I felt like if I whooped his ass, <laughs> if I were to just whoop his ass, he would probably tell elders on me and I'd get in trouble. And you know, you can't just be going around beating the shit out of people. Even though I was more than willing to. Like, if he really came down to it, if he really told the elders on me about some stuff 
damn, I spit it out. Something crazy. If he really told the elders on me about something I was actually doing and I got in trouble, you best believe I was going to beat the fuck out of that boy. But um, it didn't come down to that. I just yelled at him a couple times. I chased him around a couple times. <laughs> But yeah, this kid was go like every even after I chased him around, he would still get with her from time to time and just be dogging me, right? And <laughs> I'ma say the I'ma say the rest for part three. Part three, we're gonna get into this dude, alright? Anyway, this your boy Jade Comedian. Holla Chiguala, deuces.